Hello and shalom to my brothers and sisters out there, Messiah Yeshua, who have his testimony and guard his commandments. Brother Nick here, and today is the 30th day of the 12th month on Elohim's official Enoch solar calendar. It's March 18th, 2021. This video is identifying the day of the spring equinox. Also identifying the start of the fourth gate and portal, which is the first day of the first month. And then also identifying the sun's location on the fourth day of creation. So before I start the video, it's important to note for countries in New Zealand, the Oceanic countries, and Australia, that you need to check your own location for the Equinox event of 2021, this year. A year ago, I did a video titled Enoch Calendar Leap Day and International Dateline. And in that video, it didn't get a lot of plays, only 1,300 views. And in this video, I did a video explaining to New Zealand and Eastern Australia in 2020 that they should have been a day behind the world and not in front of the world. So they should be at the end of the day, not at the beginning of the world's day, at least last year. I advise everyone to watch this video if you need to. And it appears to me this year in 2021 that all of Australia, New Zealand, and everything east in the South Pacific Ocean will have the day of the equinox on March 21st, not March 20th. And their calendar should be one day behind my published calendar to the west. So their first day of the first month will be on March 22nd, 2021, not March 21st, 2021. And at the end of the video, I will demonstrate why I understand that their Equinox event is really going to be on March 21st, 2021. So to start this video, Moses reared up the tabernacle on the first day of the first month. In my video over a year ago, I explained how in Exodus chapter 40 that Moses raised up the tabernacle on the first day of the first month. The tabernacle faces due east at 90 degrees. And in my video, I hypothesized that in order to erect the tabernacle on the first day of the first month, that Moses and the priests would have had to make all the exact measurements on the day prior using the sun to guide them to ensure the correct alignment of the tabernacle. Thus, the day that they took measurements, the sun would have rised at 90 degrees east and would have set 270 degrees west. This means that it was the day of the spring equinox when he took the measurements. And it also means that the following day after the spring equinox, after getting the measurements, was the first day of the first month, the day that they raised up, reared up the tabernacle. If you haven't seen this video, I suggest that you watch it. So now to define the day of the spring equinox. And recently I was sent a message by a viewer who brought to my attention that this year timeanddate.com has the sun rising at 90 degrees east on March 19th, 2021. And that viewer said that the day of the spring equinox should be on March 19th and not March 20th. Well, when I examined the data, and I mean data in Stellarium, I made an observation that is important in identifying the day of the spring equinox for your location. Time and date has the sun rising at 90 degrees east at when the first sliver of any part of the sun is at 90 degrees as the sun is rising up. Time and date has the day of the spring equinox on March 20th, 2021. So it doesn't go hand in hand with the first sliver at 90 degrees. But when I looked at the data in Stellarium, rather I found the day of the equinox is when three things occur. One, the sun has to be fully risen and on the horizon. And any portion of the sun is going to be intersected by 90 degrees azimuth, which is due east. As I will now demonstrate in Stellarium for this year, 2021, from the location of Jerusalem. 
So here is March 19th, 2021, facing east. That's what that E is for. And here's 90 degrees azimuth, and we are facing east. And time and date has the sun rising at 90 degrees east. And when the first sliver, right here, as you can see, of the any part of the sun is intersected by 90 degrees right here while the sun is rising. But this is not correctly 90 degrees. As when the sun is fully risen above the horizon, it will not intersect 90 degrees. And it will not produce the equinox reading on this day, on March 19, 2021. As I will now show you in Stellarium, the sun's movement as it rises. Okay, so here I am in Stellarium, and you can see it is March 19, 2021, and the sun is rising. And here is due 90 degrees east right here, and the first portion of the sun as it's rising is intersected by 90 degrees. But as I fast forward this, and the sun is fully risen, and on the horizon, you'll notice that the sun is not intersecting exactly 90 degrees east. And on this day, you will not get the equinox reading. And here's a screenshot of March 20th, 2021. And rather, you will see that the sun is intersected by 90 degrees east when it is fully risen and on the horizon. And on this day, you will get the reading of the spring equinox. And here's an additional slide I have of the spring equinox of 2018, 19, 20, and 21. And if you notice that the sun was intersected by 90 degrees azimuth due east when it was fully risen and on the horizon on each of the days of the spring equinox reading. So March 20th, 2021 is the day of the spring equinox. And now that I have identified the day of the spring equinox is when the sun is fully risen and on the horizon and a portion of the sun is intersected by 90 degrees east. The following day is March 21st this year and the sun will then rise in the fourth gate or the fourth portal according to Enoch chapter 72 verse 6 through 9. So here you could see the sun is fully risen on the horizon on March 21st, 2021, facing due east, and it is not being intersected by 90 degrees east. And therefore, this day is the first day of the first month, and this is also the first day the sun is in the fourth portal. As the sun will be in the fourth portal for 30 days, which is the same length of the first month and here is the enoch 364 day calendar and right here is the day of the spring equinox the first day after the equinox event the sun rises in the fourth portal here's east and it's in the fourth gate or the fourth portal for in the first month for 30 days then the sun moves in the fifth gate or the fifth portal for the 30 days which is the second month and then in the sixth portal or the sixth gate it's in that gate for 31 days and that is the third month and then the sun comes back around as the sun is on the circuit so again the first day of the first month is the first day that the sun starts in the fourth portal right here and the spring equinox is the 365th day of the solar cycle and not part of the 364-day calendar year. So not only is the first day of the first month, the first day the sun enters into the fourth portal as it rises in the east, I also identify this location as the sun's location on the fourth day of creation when the sun was created. I understand that the sun was not it was not on the equinox, that the equinox is the last day of the solar cycle. And the first day of the solar cycle is day one after the equinox event. And the equinox, as I have many videos, is not part of the calendar year. So somewhere 
north of 90 degrees east, right next to it without being intersected by 90. So either right here or right over here a little bit. Somewhere over here in this range is where the sun was located and placed when it was created on the fourth day. And this is very important because this is the reason why the days of the week resets every new year. As I've said in many of my videos, the day following the spring equinox resets to the fourth day of the week, the day that the sun, moon, and stars were created, and that this is the first day of the first month, and from here, the 364-day calendar begins. It starts on day one, goes all the way to day 364, and then after day 364, the calendar year ends, and the following day is the day of the sun, or the day that the sun goes into the tabernacle, or the day of the great sign on the earth, and we wait for the sign, and then the following day is the first day of the first month again, and the calendar resets. So this means that every day of the year and every day of the week is always the same every year, and in the same relationship to the spring equinox, which calibrates or recalibrates the calendar year. As I have many videos on this to explain this, and this is a major reason why all other versions of the Enoch calendar out there are incorrect, because all their publishers fail to understand this important concept, as I explained in this video, the false Gregorian seven-day week and the lost Sabbath. The days that we have of Sunday through Saturday are not Yahweh Elohim's days of one, two, three, four, five, six and the Sabbath, the seventh day Sabbath. Those days, the Yahweh's days of the week, days one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh day Sabbath are all determined or calibrated based on the day of the sun, the day of the spring equinox, when it, which resets or recalibrates the days of the week and the entire calendar. And now I want to provide some additional observations and comments on the data. Additional observations. And as you can see, the sun is being intersected at exactly 90 degrees uh, on the day that you will get the spring equinox reading. Now I want to key on I want to key in on the leap year. Well, shouldn't say leap year. There was a leap day before the 20 a day before the 2020 spring equinox. I want to key in on this date. Here's 319 and here's 320. And as you can see, the sun is fully risen on 319 and it's not intersecting by 90 degrees east. And it's important to note, according to timeanddate.com, that the equinox did not happen on the day of the 19th. Rather, the equinox happened on March 20th on this day at 549 a.m. in Jerusalem. Right here is March 20th, 2020 at 5.45 a.m. The sun was completely above the horizon. So four minutes later, the equinox event occurred. Or maybe the sun just passed 90 degrees. We're going to take a look at that right now in Stellarium. And I'm going to look at this with you. So here I am in Stellarium on March 20th, 2020 for last year. It's according to time and date. It said that the equinox happened at 5.49 a.m. with a couple of seconds. And here you see the sun just passed 90 degrees. And this is when they said the equinox happened at that time. Now, you might be saying it's 5.48 and some change. But there's different areas in Jerusalem, just like a couple of miles will change by a couple of seconds. So this is basically right and that's the day that we got the equinox reading. So that's pretty interesting to understand. So now to finish some additional observations, here's slide three of three. And as you can see, here's the date of the spring equinox of the sun rising in the east on the top line here. And down here in the second row, it's the sun setting in the west. And notice in 2018, the sun is intersected by 270 degrees azimuth west. This is due west. The sun is being intersected by exactly 270 degrees when the sun is completely full and on the horizon and it is being intersected 
by 270. So rise in the east at 90, set in the west 270. You got the equinox reading here in 2019 on March 20th. It rised in the east, 90 degrees intersected, set in the west at 270 degrees intersected, and you got the equinox reading. Here in 2020 on the leap year, it rised in the east, and look how close it is to 90 degrees, but it is intersected by 90 degrees, as I just showed you in the previous slides. And But what happened that evening is that when it set in the west, it set, and it, it was not intersected by 270 degrees and what's interesting is that is that we know that we got the equinox reading that day as the equinox happened four minutes after sunrise when the sun was right up about here and past 90 degrees that's when the same moment on earth equinox event happened at that instant so it just happened to be 549 jerusalem time when that event happened and then also for this year the sun is going to rise at on March 20th, 2021, and it's going to be intersected by 90 degrees east when it's fully risen and on the horizon. So we will get the equinox reading this, this day, and when it sets, it's barely going to miss 270 degrees right when it sets. But this is the day of the spring equinox. You will get readings on this day. The most important takeaway that I can share with you on this is that it's important that the sun is intersected by 90 degrees when the sun is fully risen and on the horizon. That is the day of the equinox reading. And the reason why it's important, it's important that some portion of the sun is intersected by 90 degrees azimuth, due east. And why is it important? It's because the tabernacle faced the sun. It faced due east. So every spring equinox, the sun, it appears that the sun would shine into the tabernacle like all of the pagans tried to copy. And the sun goes in the tabernacle and it comes out on the following day like a strong man to run his race, according to Psalm 19. I've already shared that understanding regarding how this event happens. So you might be saying, Nick, this is totally pagan. No, the pagans stole it because all creation worships the creator, Father Yahweh and his son. Hallelujah, all praise to the Father and to the Son. And I'm signing off and shalom to all my brothers and sisters out there that have the testimony of Messiah Yeshua and guard his commandments. Shalom to you.